Bitcoin has finally confirmed its weekly candlestick. However, it has confirmed its weekly candlestick beneath the 29.5k crucial support zone. What does this mean for Bitcoin? Is Bitcoin going to be correcting further? Or is Bitcoin going to be breaking out of the 32k level? Today, we're going to be discussing this. And also, Bitcoin is confirming this weekly bearish divergence. As you can see over here on the weekly candlestick, Bitcoin has made a higher high over here however it has made a higher low on the RSI this does mean that Bitcoin could be potentially making a correction to the downside today we're going to be discussing this as well and lastly the Bollinger Bands on the weekly have been pinching and yes we are going to be seeing a huge move either to either direction to either direction today we're going to be discussing this and also we're going to be sharing you what you should be watching specifically so make sure you watch this video to the end subscribe and let's jump in into the video so bitcoin has confirmed its weekly candlestick and as i as i just said bitcoin however they did confirm its weekly candlestick beneath the 29.5k crucial support zone as you can see bitcoin you know had to you know in order you know for bitcoin to be to make this you know breakdown out of the 29.5k a fake out bitcoin had to you know confirm this you know count bitcoin had to you know Reclaim to 29.5k level. However, Bitcoin did fail to do this, and right now we are consolidating at this level. So, the major question is will Bitcoin be able to break out of the 29.5k level and reach the 42k level? And what I want to be saying is that yes. If Bitcoin were to be breaking out of the 29.5k level, I'm assuming Bitcoin to hit the 42k level. However, 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 there is one thing that I want to be sharing to you guys, which is that the Fed last last Wednesday we had the F we had the FOMC meeting, and the Fed has announced that they are no, no longer forecasting a recession. So if you were to be listening to this, this is you know positive news. If you were to be listening to this at a glance, you know it is it is positive news. However, we had the same exact news in twenty eight. 2008, January 18th, Fed is not forecasting a recession. However, subsequently, what we've seen after the Fed announcing that is Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, but the stock market making a major correction to the downside. So this is when a 50% crash after the news was announced on the 20, 28th of January. This is when the news was announced and subsequently, as you can see, the stock market has made a significant crash and you may be asking me mr ken why aren't you comparing this to the bitcoin price action so and the reason why is because bitcoin wasn't wasn't born at that time bitcoin born what well, bitcoin you know was born after you know 2008 which was you know actually 2009 so yeah there's no way for us to compare the bitcoin market to the recession so we are comparing the s p 500 yes we are comparing the s p 500 to what happened in the past and yes the S&P 500 is a risk on asset and when we had this major correction to the downside we had gold all of the markets collapsing at the same time and you may be wondering why those markets why those you know why those markets you know why those you know commodities you know gold everything was you know dropping as well and the reason why is because you know those in you know, the kind of hedge funds and BCs you know were you know those hedge funds and other you know in individual investors were covering their stop losses so that is that was the reason why they were taking out of their you know they were you know, taking profits from their you know other you know, currencies and then 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 you know that made like like that made like a snowball effect and so that is the reason why we had this significant crash to the downside as you can see over here so that is why we saw this significant crash to the downside and yes we are seeing some signs that is forecasting a you know that is forecasting some, something's wrong to be honest yeah the fed said that the fed staff were no longer forecasting a recession we saw the exact same thing in 28 20, 2008 and we all know that what happened after that what is announced to the public is typically typically the opposite of what actually occurs must be cautious here on bitcoin and the whole market so yes i think you know there is you know i mean there is a you know, really good I mean, there is a reason for us to be really cautious over here. So yeah, we really want to be cautious over here. And let's play this clip over here. No longer forecasting a recession. As you can see, you know, 
the Fed, you know, Powell is saying that, you know, they're no longer forecasting a recession. So what is announced to the public typically plays a contrary role to what actually occurs. We saw it. We saw what happened in 20, 2008, and subsequently we saw a significant crash to the downside. And right now we are seeing the exact same thing. So yeah, we must be cautious over here. So the question is, will Bitcoin be you know, confirming this weekly bearish divergence? We are witnessing this weekly bearish divergence over here. As you can see, Bitcoin has made a you know bearish divergence over here on over here. As you can see, the RSI made a higher lower high and over here it made a lower low and this marked the bottom of bitcoin over here as well when bitcoin marked the top in in the last bull market we had this higher high and lower high over here and that marked the bottom sorry that marked the top so as you can see bitcoin is you know really you know respecting this you know these kind of bearish divergences and bullish divergences divergences stuff so we could be seeing bitcoin rejecting off this level and if i were to be speaking flatly as you can see bitcoin is currently rejecting the 32k level resistance area i mean it does look like you know a rejection over here as you can see the 32k level is a significant level and bitcoin does look like it does seem like it is currently you know rejecting this level we have made significant wicks to the wicks to the upside and bitcoin even broke below the 29.5k level so typically, typically speaking, this is extremely, extremely bearish, right? This is extremely bearish, and we are having this, you know, these kind of news that you know the Fed is no longer forecasting a recession. This does look seem to be good news. However, we are having this news, and the bearish divergence is also about to confirm. And also, we are having the Bollinger Bands pinching significantly on the weekly. So as you can see over here, the Bollinger Bands pinch, right? And whenever we see these Bollinger Bands pinch, subsequently we do tend to see a significant move to either direction. As you can see over here, we had this pinch and we had a significant, we had this expansion in the Bollinger Bands over here. We had this pinch and we had a significant move in the of the Bollinger Bands. So it does seem like Bitcoin is going to be correcting further after seeing these rejections. So the question is whether Bitcoin will be, you know, topping out over here or are we going to be in a correcting lower? However, you know, we also do have this news that the SEC accepts Black, Black, BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF application. So it means that, you know, I mean, what? So for us, you know, if, in order for Bitcoin to be able to break, in order for Bitcoin, you know, to break out of this you know, resistance so and reach the 45K target we have been talking about, we must be having the Fed to accept the Bitcoin ETF spot ETF application. This is the only way, in my opinion, for Bitcoin to be able to, you know, go to much more higher prices. So unless we have that kind of news, Bitcoin is going to be correcting lower. So yeah, it does look like Bitcoin is, you know, I mean, it doesn't seem like Bitcoin is rejecting these levels. And we are having a bearish divergence on the weekly. And also on the daily, we are having a bearish divergence over here as well. So this look this does look bearish guys and we have broken that up down support down we have broken down of the support at the 29.5k level so it does not look good to be honest unless we we confirm we unless we regain the 29.5k resistance zone i think we know we're going to be continuing lower over here and the support zone you want to be watching here is the 20 weekly moving average. Bitcoin has been respecting the 20 weekly moving average pretty constantly. As you can see over here, we have you know, respected the 20 weekly moving average over here, over here, and over here, and over here, rejected over here, over here, over here. And it, it, may, it confirmed its support over here as well. So yeah, the 20 weekly moving average does play a significant role in terms of this, you know, in terms of, of this in price action over here. So we want to be seeing Bitcoin being able to hold the 20 weekly moving average. If Bitcoin is able to hold this 20 weekly moving average, I guess, you know, we're going to be bouncing off here. And finally, when the news were to be accepting, you know, if, you know, the Fed is going to be accepting Black, BlackRock's ETF application, we're going to be seeing a significant surge to the upside. So it's like, it's, you know, basically gambling, right? You need to be begging on whether Black BlackRock's ETF application is going to be, you know, 
confirmed. I mean, confirmed or not, right? So it is basically gambling, and if, and if we do not see that, we're basically going to be seeing a you know massive you know correction to the downside. So that's my take on Bitcoin. Pretty risky over here, but yeah. Speaking in flatly, it does seem that Bitcoin is going to be you know rejecting this level. However, thinking about the news and thinking about you know the recession going to be occurring, I mean we could be seeing a final a final surge to the upside to the 40k level and then a massive you know correction to the downside later on. And I'm ex expecting a correction to the 20k level as over here. And also Ripple, you know, after the Ripple had the news that you know Ripple wasn't a security, we broke out of their significant weekly resistance zone at the 0.55 level, as you can see over here. And went after we broke out above it, we had this you know significant surge to the upside, which was approximately. I mean, we had a two x from in in just a day, guys. We had a two x in just a day, and we had a significant surge to the upside, which was de definitely crazy. And Bitcoin is kind of you know s sitting at a similar situation over here. We are, Big Ripple, you know, was, you know, testing the weekly, you know, significant weekly resistance over here. And Bitcoin over here as well is, you know, currently testing significant weekly resistance. So I got to be saying that if, you know, Bitcoin's spot application, ETF application is going to be approved, we're going to be seeing a massive move to the upside. So that's my take on Bitcoin, whether we're going to be seeing e like either move. I think we're going to be seeing something like that. So, yeah. This is what you guys need to be working. I mean, being you know prepared of. So if you want to be you know, trading with Bitcoin, I will be recommending Bitkid. If you want to be trading that move, and the reason why is because you get a thirty percent discount on all trades if you sign up from here, and also you get a five thousand dollar deposit bonus if you sign up from this link above here. So make sure you sign up to this link, and yeah, let's trade Bitcoin together. So next, let's look at Ethereum as well. Ethereum is currently making a correction. And yes, it is you know currently you know, holding support at the 20 weekly moving average. And as you can see over here, it is holding currently holding support. And right now it does look like it's trying about to break below it. But as you can see, Ethereum, you know, is not that you know watching it's not you know respecting the 20 weekly moving average that much as Bitcoin, as you can see, it made a wick over here. However, it broke down over here, but it went up to the upside, made a rejection, rejection, rejection over here. And we know we know we went up up here and then made a rejection, made a support, support, and yeah, as you can see over here, it was moving like this as well. So, as you can see, Ethereum is currently in respecting the 20 weekly moving average, and it is about to make this you know ball then the Bollinger bands are about to pinch, are getting pinch, 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 and pinching, 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 are trying to get, are squeezing significantly. So it means that Ethereum is going to be making a significant move. To either direction, and as you can, as you know, guys, Ethereum does have a you know positive correlation correlation with Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin were to be you know making a significant surge to the upside, it means that Ethereum is also going to be making a significant move to the upside as well. But you know, it all depends on you know what you know. Sorry, what the hell is happening here? So yeah, it really all depends on what Bitcoin Bitcoin's move is like. However. The support zones you want to be watching is definitely the 1.7k level. This is a an area I'm watching really closely. If Bitcoin were to be making a further correction to the downside, Ethereum is probably going to be testing this level. And if I were to be you know putting in any lungs, I will be putting in a position over here and then putting my stop loss over here. And then yeah, we could be seeing you know Ethereum you know surging to the upside, which I am expecting a target of 2.5k. So yeah, we could be in our consolidating here for another month or so, and the Bollinger Bands could be pinching more and more. And then finally, I am expecting a move to either direction, but probably to the upside. Also, the same for Bitcoin as well. I mean, we could be correcting to the 20 weekly moving average at the 28k level. However, ultimately, I'm expecting a move to the upside. So yeah, that's the areas you want to be watching. And finally, Ripple, you want to be looking at Ripple as well. Ripple is make, currently making a surge to the upside. We are you know, currently resisting on the daily time frame. We have you know, been holding support at the $0.68 level as we have been talking about. And if, if Ripple is able to hold this level, the next resistance zone you want to be watching clearly is the 0.72 level. And if we are able to break above this, we are probably going to be hitting the $0.77 area. 
and next is probably going to be the 0.82 level. However, if Ripple is not able to hold this level, we are probably going to be seeing the 0.64 dollar level, which is you know crucial you know daily support as you can see over here. So yeah, this is the area we want to be watching. These are the areas you definitely want to be watching over here closely. And as you can see, the Bollinger Bands are currently pinching, 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 pinching. And once we do see this pinching over, we are going to be seeing a huge move to the either direction. So yeah, I mean, if you want to be taking a trade, I'll be putting a stop loss at the $0.64 area. I'll be putting a stop at the $0.64 area. And, you know, targeting the $0.84 area. But however, there is you know probably huge. Uh, there is you know a pretty high probability of us you know taking this low over here. So yeah, I mean, I would I would be more interested in taking a line over here, and the target would be something like this. So yeah, these are the trades if you want to be taking. You know, you, I would be recommending Bitkit. So yeah, make sure you sign up on Bitkit in the description down below. And also you know guys, I'm you know posting you know daily analysis on my Twitter account as you can see over here. Uh yeah, over here as well. I mean, I'm posting both in Japanese and English, so make sure you follow my Twitter over here. And also, I do have a private Discord channel, so yeah, make sure you follow me on Discord as well. So I think I'll be wrapping up the video over here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And lastly, I forgot to mention to you this, that Bitcoin, the, the Bitcoin 24-hour volatility index just hit an all-time low. So yeah, we are having in a we are having in a really low vol volatility over here. Which means that we're going to be seeing a huge move to either direction. It does seem like that you know Bitcoin's you know rejecting this level, but it means that Bitcoin could be you know like I think you know Bitcoin's going to be breaking out of the 32k level because you know it does seem like you know just looking at a glass you know, guys, Bitcoin does seem like it's going to be rejecting this level. But that is what they heard, the majority of the public thinks so, thinks like. Markets tend to move in the direct in the, in the opposite direction of the of what the majority thinks like. So yeah, so yeah, that is the reason why I'm expecting Bitcoin to break out of the 32k level. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Bye.